Are you looking at building web pages with WordPress and are wondering what's the best page builder to use? Me too. And one of the big considerations is speed. How fast will something load once you've built that website? In this video, we are gonna cover how we built the same website with the Divi theme and page builder and compared it against the Cadence theme and Cadence blocks. Let's see which one's faster and other considerations you might wanna look at before choosing your page builder. Let's jump on in. Hi, I recently did a test between Divi and Cadence. To do that, we used a tool called Web Page Test. Now, Web Page Test has been my go-to replacement for GT Metrics because I can put in my URL, run a report, and get a whole heap of different useful information to see how fast my web pages are loading. So when it comes to how we tested, we used a client website called Moss Transport. And these guys had a website for a number of years with Divi. We took this website and rebuilt it inside Cadence so that we had a real test base. This means that most of the images are exactly the same. Most of the other plugins that are installed like Gravity Forms and tools for their FAQ and job system are all the same. And this gave us a great test base to be able to compare when you build a real website, what's the difference between Divi and Cadence. So when it comes to page speed, the first thing I wanted to test was the speed index. Speed index is when we tell how fast a web page feels. Just because a web page loads quicker, sometimes it feels faster depending on how things are loaded. In this case, we can see that Divi had a load page speed index of 3.967 seconds. That was double, well more than double, what Cadence WP had at 1.62 seconds, meaning that Cadence feels a lot faster than Divi. When it comes to the page size, how big was the final page size? On the top level, Divi was 1,678 kilobytes, which was 200 kilobytes more, well, a bit over than Cadence WPs at 1431 kilobytes. That largely comes down to the number of JavaScript files with Divi. Divi has a lot of blocking JavaScript because it requires jQuery, and that means it has 20 files that are there. That's a lot of files compared to the five files that we have with Cadence WP. When we look at the structure of the pages, so when we compared both pages and said, okay, let's compare them in terms of total bytes loaded, what did we find? Well, when we look at Divi, we found that first of all, there was a less image weight. This meant that on our previous design, we had some slightly smaller images being used. That's not a big deal. They're not really due to the differences in the two themes themselves. That's due to the content we put in. The big ones I wanna draw your attention to is the JavaScript and the CSS. When it comes to CSS, we can see that Cadence was not quite half of what Divi has, but it's close to. When it comes to the JavaScript, however, we've got almost 10 times the JavaScript for Divi compared to Cadence. Again, this is largely because of the dependency with jQuery. The other thing to point out is HTML. Cadence uses less HTML to create its designs than what Divi does. This means if you're doing SEO, Cadence has a slight edge because you get less HTML to content ratio. So when it comes to our findings, we generally found that Divi feels slower because of the high number of JavaScript files that it loads. This is largely due to the dependency of jQuery. If, however, you're looking long-term, Divi is looking at launching a new version. They've been around for 16 years and I expect them to be around for a heck of a lot more. This means that Divi will likely come out with some super improvements on their next version that will mean that it's just as fast, if not faster, than tools like Cadence and Stackable. So there are a couple of other things to consider when choosing between Cadence and Divi. So even though we've shown how Cadence is faster, there's a few other things that I wanna draw your attention to. Number one is pricing. Now, Divi has quite a good pricing, particularly right now. They have a great sale on that saves a heck of a lot of money, particularly on their lifetime deal. The other thing is Divi has been around for 16 years now. And that means that the tool, you know it's gonna keep going they're not gonna all of a sudden abandon the project. The other thing I wanted to point out was the AI. Divi AI is significantly more powerful than Cadence AI. So Cadence AI is very good at creating pages from scratch. So if you wanna create a brand new website, Cadence AI has the edge. But when it comes to everything else, Divi AI has the edge. 
And that's because of the way the prompts work. I've been able to use Divi AI to create excellent content and create images all on the fly. And the accuracy of the results is very good. So although Cadence has some great stuff going on with AI, it's not quite as good as what Divi is. The other thing when it comes to the price of these AIs is Cadence uses a credit system. This means that you need to top up your credits over time, whereas Divi has a flat usage price per year where it is unlimited usage. This means if you're creating a high number of sites or you have very content heavy sites, that Divi is still worth considering, particularly when it comes to the cost of generating content. The final point I wanted to raise about choosing between Divi and Cadence is that Divi doesn't have quite as large a marketplace and integration as what Cadence does. This is because Cadence is built on the block tools. So because Cadence uses blocks, it means that tools like Yoast, uh, SEMrush, a lot of these other integrations that you want seem to work a lot better with Cadence than they do with Divi. Well, I hope you liked that comparison. Remember, things are always changing. So always take a look at videos that are recent when it comes to picking a page builder for your website. In a year's time, things may have changed for Divi and it might be the fastest page builder on the internet. In the meantime, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions about using Divi or Cadence or anything else for that matter with your WordPress website builds, you can leave a question below and I'll make a video about it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.